Welcome to the new lesson of Microsoft PowerPoint. So in this lesson, what we're going to learn about is making an animated photo or turning your photo into life in PowerPoint. Well, you might think that how you're going to do that, but yeah, that is also doable. So first off, we're going to open up PowerPoint. And then the first thing what we're going to do is select a photo. So to select a photo, you're always going to end up on home. But now what we're going to do is go to insert and click on pictures in the images section. So click on pictures and then select whichever or wherever you want to select the picture from. So as I don't have any picture in my device or my PC, so what I'm going to do is go online or go to stock images. Let's see if there are any photos in the stock images. Make sure to be connected to the internet so that you can use the photos and other tools which require internet connection. So what I'm going to do is select any of them. Okay, so I'm going to do is maybe select one which is um, a bit easy and understandable. So I'm going to do is select, let's see, whichever is doable here. If not, I'm just going to select a waterfall from above there. If I can't find anything which is like, which makes it look like um, that it's movable. Okay, let's say, um, okay, let's just move up and use the waterfall from there. Or maybe you, we can also use this. Okay, this is also doable. We can use the clouds for it. So as you can see that, this is the photo of maybe San Francisco or maybe I don't know. So I'm going to do the same thing and duplicate the slide and duplicate it more. Well, you're going to start off with two slides, but I made this one. Okay, so I'm going to do is delete this one. So I'm going to for do first is first off, go to insert, go to shapes and then select this tool. Okay, which is free form scribble. So I'm going to do is select this part. Okay. Okay, you can do it like taking a lot of time and scribble perfectly, but what I'm going to do is um, take this part and then I'm going to do is, my bad, my bad. And do it and do again. Well, I'm gonna do like this slide. Create, I need to create this shape. First off, go to insert shapes. Obviously, use the scribble. Okay, or first, what you're gonna do is go to like here and then go to picture format. Next, what I'm gonna do is remove background. Okay, that is also doable, but. Now I'm going to do is discard all changes, mark areas to keep. I'm going to do is mark this area. What I'm going to do is um, not this one. I'm going to delete this whole thing. Also the mountains, I don't need those. I just need these clouds, okay? Just these clouds. Okay, now it's done. Control, okay, keep changes. I don't need this too, so I'm gonna do remove background again. Remark areas to remove, remove this part. And let's say let's remove this too. Not bad. Okay, this part is usable. Keep changes. Now what I'm gonna do is um now first thing what I'm gonna do is change the transparency. See, okay. Like fix the transparency. Now what I'm gonna do is copy this. Not this one, but I'm gonna just copy and paste it right over here. Okay. 
let's say um, okay first what I'm gonna do is increase the transparency a bit let's say it starts from here now it's like super okay now it's attached and maintained the size of it so I'm gonna do first is change its animation so what I'm gonna do is go to animations what I'm gonna do here is click on um, lines okay go to lines not here but instead what I'm gonna do is click this right over here okay and I'm gonna use preview okay you can see that this is quite doable so I'm gonna do is click on it and then what I'm gonna do is picture format remove background I'm gonna do is remove areas because those lines are visible and I don't want that instead I'm gonna do is make more areas from here okay so I need the clouds okay mark areas to remove so I don't need this okay now it's done keep changes I'm gonna do is change the outlines for a while um, where are those outlines um, what I'm gonna do is change the correction change the um, contrast and brightness for a while so that you might see that okay let's just not change anything what I'm gonna do is ch do the same processes over and over again so I'm gonna do is go to animations again preview and you will see that when it moves you will feel like okay this is moving it's a lot more better when you are doing it with water I'm gonna show it to you again with water again because this has a lot of extra backgrounds which is causing this to not look really good but I'm gonna do is what you can do again is remove the background so I'm gonna remove the black parts now so remove black background and then remove this so I'm just gonna keep the clouds right here I don't need these parts drag your left like hold on to your left mouse key and drag them so that they are removed okay it doesn't need to be that perfect okay this is just the basics I'm gonna show you like how you can do it so you don't have to like okay you can just take a lot more time by removing the background but I'm gonna show you to you like how it actually works so as you can see the clouds are right here so I'm gonna do is just obviously do the animations again I'm gonna do is um, animations lines again um, I need this one to be right over here okay my bad to be right here okay well let's preview them now when you add again and again so I'm gonna do is control add more add more and more and more you will see that this will turn into um, okay now I'm gonna do is preview them now you will see that this is not when you overlay them it might not look that good but when you like add it over time like this copy duplicate the slide duplicate slide okay preview see so I'm gonna do is duplicate slides for like more than 10 20 times and then what I'm gonna do is change the time of automatic shifting so I'm gonna do is duplicate the time or duplicate the slide first and then add the time so I'm, I don't need this one anymore so I'm gonna do is we have 11 duplicate slide let's add like 20 okay 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 well 20 of them are now made so I'm gonna do now is go to slideshow and then first 
first thing what we're going to do is go to transition and we're going to add no transition okay but the thing which you're going to do is you can add morph or whatever you want but uh, what I'm going to do here is change the transition zero, uh, zero, zero point, let's add 50, okay, apply to all, okay, and I'm going to do is press F5, you can see that this is moving. Okay, you will see that this will start moving. So now what we're going to do is go to animations and then change the animation time. So I'm going to do is do right here zero, zero point, um, let's say 20. Let's see the preview. That's too fast, but yeah, it will just apply the animation okay whenever you go in okay so do the same process over and over again so go to f5 see if you add more and more okay it will just overlay and do the animation and it will look like it's now um, you know moving so next one I'm going to show you is show you another one which is going to be with the water and it's going to be a lot more easier when you do that okay and I'm going to delete all of them so I'm going to do is go to insert again click on so not screenshots but pictures stock images and then click on water okay let's say this one so I'm going to do is okay now I'm going to do is remove background so when I want to remove the background, I want to uh, remove more of it. So I'm going to do is select only the water. Uh, my bad. Not this one. Okay. Now I'm going to ch keep areas to mark. I need this part and nothing else. Okay. I want that part too. Okay, now it's a lot done. I'm just going to keep this part, okay? And nothing else. Well, when you're doing it professionally, make sure to take some time and do the outlines, okay? So that it looks a lot more professional. Well, I'm just showing you the steps, so I'm, I'm not going to like do it perfectly. So keep the changes, okay? My bad. I forgot to... Um, Okay, let's say, let's redo it. Okay, keep changes. Well, I forgot to um, add the photo again so to the next slide. And so I'm going to do is make this and then go to insert again. Go to picture, stock images, and then select the same photo and insert. Now I'm going to do is click on this, copy, paste. Right over here, I'm going to like change the transparency a bit okay or maybe like not but it's better if you change the transparency a bit because sometimes it feels um it gets like okay keep changes my bad it gets really sometimes the outlines of the details might look really uncomfortable and not interesting so i would say that yeah change the transparency like reduce it and then go to animations and select lines again lines see well not that big but what I'm gonna do is uh, where is it 
select this one to be right here and do the same steps over and over again and preview it oh, my bad okay this is enough now preview it and when you add layers over and over again and it will do the same thing so I'm gonna do is duplicate it when you press F5 not this one but when you add this okay it will start doing like this okay when you add in more layers it will turn into an animation or the photo will turn into life okay so this is it for this video if you understood it well that's good but if you don't make sure to watch the video again and thank you for watching